All right, guys, we've got a hazmat call at a school. Uh, parents are evacuating their kids. Uh, not sure if it's a construction chemical or something else. Definitely a bit of a mess down here. Okay, we're on the scene here. There is a hazmat at an elementary school. Transported one adult. Evaluating about two dozen kids and teachers. Don't know what it is though. So this is a nearby church. Uh, this is the um, evacuation point for the school. So the parents are all coming over here and meeting their children and taking them home. Got a big, big response. Blocked off a couple blocks of the city. Let's see if we can get some more information from the public information officers who are down there with the, uh, the guys. I wonder if they want us to come down now. They're actively ventilating now, trying to get the odor out of the building. Okay, so uh, we got some photos of that. I just tell you that it smells like asphalt right now. I mean, I can smell asphalt in the wind. There's a huge construction. Ugh, it stinks, actually. And uh, speculation is that, that that got into the ventilation systems of the uh, school. And it, it's really strong. <laughs> really quite strong. All right, let's get on with the rest of the day, starting with a shower. All right, because I haven't even showered yet. We've got to go home and clean up. Then we'll get on with our day, yeah? Okay, guys, we are down in far southeast Washington, D.C., the 7th District. It is raining, and up there you're going to see in a few seconds Falcon, the D.C. police helicopter. There he is doing some loops behind the trees. There has been an officer down situation down here. A police officer was run over by a fleeing vehicle, and the vehicle was abandoned just down in this neighborhood. Let's go see what we can see. Detectives arriving. And we got police everywhere around here trying to find this guy. He bailed out somewhere in this neighborhood. Uh, we got dogs, dog units over there. So I think the guy got hit right over there in front of that uh, Chinese deli pharmacy. And then they bailed and it, they raced about three or four blocks and then they crashed out. So let's try to see what else we All can right, see. This is the location. This is Martin Luther King Avenue. This is actually the intersection of uh, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X Avenue down here in Southeast DC. Uh, still a lot of police around. We've got cops at Popeyes, cops at the gas station. The suspect is on the loose as far as I can tell. They got his vehicle, but the guy is still in the wind. Hell's that? The four, ten police cars heading up Marion Barry. That's strange. Let's see what that's all about. Hey guys, good afternoon, morning. I don't know. I just woke up. I took a long nap. <laughs> it is Wednesday, I guess. We are downtown. We're heading to the White House where there is an event this evening. But the Secret Service has closed off everything down here. Like a couple blocks of the street are closed now. This is normal if he's going to the Eisenhower building to do like a press event or something like that. But it's not on the schedule. So I'm not really sure why they've blocked off the roads. But you know me. I'm going to go walk in and see what we can see. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. We see yellow tape. There's police tape up down here. And that's not normal. Not even for him going to the uh, Eisenhower building. So either there's some construction or, well, something else. Let's see what we can see. There seems to be people walking around the tape, so it doesn't really seem to be serious tape. Oh, maybe it's just some guys like window washing. <laughs> Could be that. Hmm, there they're all around. That was weird. It's just random tape.
there are no window washers. Oh, oh, here we go. There's a bunch of cars opposite direction. Looks like a mini motorcade. Who could be here? Yeah, let's go check this out. It's not the VP that she has a bigger motorcade. Looks like there's some private vehicles in the uh, motorcade. So, probably a foreign head of state. The defense was on Maybe they're in this uh, this White House historical thing. There's a gate there, and there's a suburban behind the gate, but it's not a uh, 800 zero. It must be a foreign head of state because the vehicle inside has got like DHS type license plates. Uh, this one here. So this is the new visitor center. Maybe someone's taking a tour of it. I don't think it's really open yet. The People's House is what it's going to be called. Hmm. It's a mystery. Hey guys, we are in and we have no idea what's going on. There is supposed to be a preset at 3 o'clock. It's currently like 3.30. I didn't get my clearance till after 3 o'clock, so I might have missed it. But then there's a press briefing that was supposed to be at 2 o'clock that as of 3 had not started. And they usually don't make us preset when there's a press briefing. So <laughs> I'm confused. Anyway, well, let's go inside try to sort this out. The Marine's on duty. That means Biden's in the Oval Office right now. And uh, I'm not sure if the press briefing is underway or not. Let's figure it out. Okay, so uh, I am late, but there's a second round going on. Maybe I can sneak in with them. I think if I could just briefly point you to the President's statement last night. How uh, serious is it? How dire is it? It's, it's, I, I don't know of a famine that's not dire. Right. It's dire. And Numbers millions of people have been uh, pushed out of their homes. Hundreds of thousands of them uh, are facing incredibly violent circumstances. And doing what's right by the Sudanese people. And I'll tell you something else. He's not going to stop fighting for the people of Sudan. We're not going to stop trying to find a way to end this conflict. The president has called on the belligerents to come together. Are they listening, John? Okay, thanks, Admiral. Appreciate that. Okay, I just have one last thing, and then we'll get to uh, questions. So I, as we announced this morning, the First Lady will lead the president's delegation to the inauguration of Mexico's first woman president, Claudia Sheinbaum Pardo, on October 1st. Hey, hey look at this. <laughs> he's, he's coming out onto the ladders. He's drinking the water out of the thing. Whoops, he's a man. Uh, you can tell you saw mine. Oh, I don't even know. It's for our... <laughs> there could be so many iPhones in our faces today. That's why I'm going back. a little bit bigger ladder. Yeah. I grabbed an extender just in case. You know, they should replace this lock. This lock, every time we come here, the Secret Service has the hardest time unlocking this door. Like jiggle, wiggle. I don't think they're going to change much about <laughs> the too doors here anytime soon. Yeah. This place is packed with people. And they're going to speak up there. And 
So this is what we call a hot dog setup. Hot dog runs lengthwise, hamburger runs this way. So this is a hot dog setup from a press standpoint, and it's not very good, because we're, I don't know, what do you think? 100 feet away from them or something like that? And everybody in front of me is gonna be throwing up their cell phones like that guy. So we're gonna have like 100 cell phones in our way as we try to take our pictures. So there's a party out there. We don't get invited to the party. Everybody's kind of looking for celebrities. I don't know if any celebrities will be here. Oh, food. What is that, girl? There's another plate of something going around. Looks like scrambled eggs. Thousand cell phones. Esteemed guests, the President of the United States, accompanied by an actress, advocate, and entrepreneur, Jessica Alba. photos of Jessica Alba hidden behind mobile phones. Uh, looks like a bit of rain, but I'm actually kind of hungry, so let's go find something to do for a bit. Maybe we can get some food. It's been a short day since I got up at like three o'clock. Okay guys, that was a short Wednesday, a little bit of a Tuesday as well in there. Um, tomorrow, Thursday, Donald Trump in Washington. I will be showing you that However, it's going to be in the evening, so that video will be a little bit late. You'll see my pictures on my other social media, Twitter and stuff like that, uh, throughout the evening. But the actual video tomorrow will be a little bit late. Here's a few photos from today. Uh, it wasn't really the greatest photos because of the distance and, well, all the mobile phones. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow.